Hi. Today we are going to talk about the most important part of your business school applications in order to study abroad. Your statement of purpose. So what are the most important things that you need to remember? Let's begin. Point number one, your SOP is not your resume. So do not mention things in your statement of purpose which have already been discussed in your CV. Things like your marks, your school, your university, and the, uh, even your hobbies. So talk about things which are uh, generally uh, the motivational things, things that you have learned in your life while studying or while working in a certain organization. Talk about purpose of your life. Why actually you want to study in a certain school, certain university. What is the program that motivates you? Number two, give it a personal touch. Make it a little more dramatic, like a Bollywood or Hollywood movie. There must have been lots of problems in your life. Find a problem that uh, in a way changed you or altered your life. Talk about a solution that you somehow implemented. Talk about a hero. You could be the hero of your story, your problems, your life, or it could be somebody else. But how that story or that problem, the solution that you or somebody implemented in that problem motivated you or changed your personality. Point three, word count. Remember in our schools and colleges, we used to write essays. I mean, starting with those cow essays when we were in primary classes, there used to be a word limit. Today, schools might or might not give you a word limit. Sometimes they might just say there is no word limit, but that doesn't mean you're going to jot down 5,000 words. Always remember, do not exceed 1,000 words. I mean, it could be plus minus 100, but remember, brevity is an art. And finally, reconnect the dots. Let's say if you love ice creams, and someday you want to form an ice cream company, you want to be the CEO of one of the finest ice cream companies, not just in your country, your region, let's say entire world. But how do you actually plan to do that? And this is the uh, section where you talk about the value of the school, uh, the importance of the program that you're going to attend. Remember, a school is always a tool. It's like a bus to your destination. Now, whether you take a Volvo or an ordinary bus, it's up to you. So talk about things, talk about goals, and then bring in the school as a platform which would help you to gain those skill sets and tools required to reach that destination. I hope this was very clear to you. Of course, you can log on to advisory.in slash blogs. You can read more about how to prepare a good SOP, letters of recommendation. We do provide lots of assistance uh, to all the Indian students. Read more in details. Thank you so much for watching.